Hey, so I wanted to start using my YouTube channel some more for some Apollo sneak peeks like this iOS 16 update overview video. So subscribe if you want to see some more of that. So my favorite part of this update is the new iOS 16 lock screen widgets. So you can long press on your lock screen, hit customize, and choose from a variety of Apollo lock screen widgets. So for instance, seeing posts from your favorite subreddits running your lock screen, the total distance you scrolled in Apollo as a widget, uh, a live counter for how much karma you've accumulated, a uh, shortcut to your favorite subreddit right from your lock screen, uh, how your inbox is doing in terms of unread items, how your most recent post or comment is performing, uh, as well as a random subreddit button if you want to go on a little adventure. You can also just tap on the widget to customize it, for instance, to change which subreddit it's showing. And you just hit done and save, and that's your new lock screen. Next up, I really love the new live text APIs Apple added in iOS 16. So I can go to a foreign language subreddit, for instance. Uh, I don't speak German, but this is a German subreddit. And I've heard the memes here are great. Um, and I don't understand it though. So you can tap on the live text button now, uh, hit translate, and it'll translate it right online so you can understand uh, whatever's posted. It's so handy. Um, you can also just long press and select the text to share or send. And it's so cool to be able to do this right in line, right from the media viewer. Next up, we have um, subreddit weather. This is a, another really fun one. Uh, weather kit looks so cool this year at WWDC and I wanted to integrate some of it. So uh, for instance, if you go to the Denver subreddit for Denver, Colorado, it'll show you uh, the weather there as well as the time. So you can see it's 86 degrees Fahrenheit. It'll work for pretty much anywhere in the world. Um, so if you go to say Perth um, for Perth, Australia, the subreddit, uh, it'll show you it's 4.15 a.m. in the morning, so pretty early, and it's 56 degrees Fahrenheit in Perth. Um, it's kind of cool for getting a context for the local subreddit. Um, next up, we have our scroll distance tracker. So if you just go to the settings tab and then hit about, uh, there's a new stats option that'll show you how far totally you scrolled in Apollo. And it'll give you a fun little uh, distance comparison metric uh, so you can kind of get a context for how far you've scrolled. Um, you can change the unit as well as set a goal if you want to really be a scrolling athlete. And um, you can pin this to your lock screen as well so you can keep up um, with how far you scrolled or how your goals are doing. Next, we have the new app icons that I absolutely love. Uh, the designers absolutely crushed it with this um, set of icons they did. Um, they're kind of these cool retro-inspired CRT monitors and Etch-a-Sketch style icons that I think just came out so, so cool. They're kind of nostalgic and retro and kind of harken back to a simpler time in computing, and they just look so cool. Uh, I hope you like them as much as I do. So that's Apollo's iOS 16 update. Um, there's a ton of other small improvements across the board um, that I, you'll discover as you use the app. And I hope you like this update as much as I did. A lot of work went into it. Take care.